All right, welcome back into the Sports Source. Quick segment, my apologies, I didn't time the show. I let these guys go crazy on me. <laughs> I, I run a loose ship here. I let, you, I let them go with their own emotion. Dryer Lint Busters brings you this segment. If you want your dryer running like new, lower your electric bill and cut down on a fire hazard, you will have Dryer Lint Busters clean your vents. Just $99 and less than an hour is all it takes. Just one visit per year is all it takes. And if you are a business with multiple dryers, means apartments, hospitals, even a, a uh, hairstylist that use dryers, they can really help you out and save you money. DryerLintBusters.com, check them out today. Take a look here. UT's hoop slate is coming together. You got Texas in Knoxville as part of the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Maryland in Brooklyn. Colorado in Nashville. Arizona out in Tucson. You're also at the Battle for Atlantis with Butler, BYU, Dayton, Kansas, NC State, Wisconsin, USC. I love it. Rick Barnes schedules like a madman. It's fantastic. It's everything fans deserve. It gets national attention. It gets recruits' interest. Let him schedule for the football team. That said, <laughs> That said, would this still look better if Memphis were on the schedule? And I, I've flipped on this. I used to think you don't need Memphis, but now they, they want a football basketball tie-in, and since your football schedules are going to be so lame, I'm in on Memphis. Put them on football and put them on basketball every year. You need somebody to hate. Tennessee fans hate Memphis. Memphis <laughs> hates Tennessee. I want Memphis on basketball and football now. Complete 180 on Memphis for me. Am I wrong? Does this need Memphis? You're asking sports talk radio host. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, uh, they don't need Memphis, but I just think it would add to the fun of sports, football, basketball. Uh, it, it would be terrific. So I understand why Rick Barnes wouldn't want to, but I want them to. Yeah, yeah. For basketball, need no, but would it make it better? Absolutely, it would. But with that, heat okay. On let me sides. define that. Um, you are such sticklers. You act like I'm going to devil's advocate you. Or something. <laughs> uh, but need meaning as a fan wanting to see it. I don't yeah. mean right. does, does Rick right. Barnes need it to make it a good – no. But no. Do, you, do you need a little extra spice? I would say get any spice you can on it. Well, That's I, what I meant by need for a fan's point of view. And why not play it in, in Nashville? If you're talking about well, looking for – you and Memphis got COVID. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and, and if, there, if there's friction between the two programs, maybe not. But they, I would love it. Yeah, Do it. it. Well, the reason I say that I would like it as a sports talk radio host is because fans would too. Fans would be all about yeah. Tennessee versus Memphis. Yeah, and I think the, the friction is what makes it interesting. Yeah. I mean, you've got a guy in Penny Hardaway who took shots at Rick Barnes. Rick Barnes? Who takes shots at Rick Barnes? I mean, that is fascinating. All right, we gotta, we got to get out of here. Happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching. No show next week due to the U.S. Cycling Championships. See you on July 3rd.